Hello, my name is John Huco, the General Secretary of Rotary International and the Rotary Foundation. I'd like to welcome you to beautiful Evanston, Illinois, the home of Rotary International Headquarters. Over the past few months, we've taken every precaution to help prevent the spread of COVID-19 within our community. Unfortunately, this means we haven't been able to welcome visitors into one Rotary Center. But now, for the first time, we're excited to offer a virtual tour. I hope you'll enjoy this video, including a sneak peek of our new exhibit space on the 18th floor. Rotary International Headquarters has been at One Rotary Center in Evanston since 1987. Rotary owns the 18-story building and currently occupies about 40% of the space. Today, we'll visit the 1st, 17th, and 18th floors. Come on in. We're starting in room 711, a recreation of the site of the first Rotary Club meeting. Rotary founder Paul Harris moved to Chicago to pursue his law career in 1896. After a few years, he wanted a way to create meaningful connections among businessmen. In 1905, he and three other men held what became known as the first Rotary Club meeting in the downtown Chicago office of Gus Lord. Local Rotarians recreated the office in the 1980s and formed the Paul Harris Room 711 Club to preserve and share Rotary history. The office was later rebuilt at One Rotary Center. The fiberglass statue of Paul Harris was created by Rotarian Kimihiko Morioka of Tokyo, Japan. Morioka traveled to Evanston to assemble the statue at One Rotary Center in 1993, and Paul has been here smiling and shaking hands with Rotarians ever since. And nearby are images representing Harris's vision for Rotary and members putting it into action today. Welcome to the 17th floor and the Archcombe Society Gallery. At the 1917 convention, Rotary President Archcombe defined several areas he considered essential for Rotary's future growth and success. His suggestion led to a Rotary Endowment Fund, which became the Rotary Foundation. It seems imminently proper that we should accept endowments for the purpose of doing good in the world, in charitable, educational, or other avenues of community progress. Now, we use his name to recognize donors who have contributed $250,000 or more to the Rotary Foundation. And today, there are more than 1,100 members of the Archcom Society, many of whom have portraits displayed here in the gallery. The 18th floor houses the offices of senior leaders, the boardroom, and interactive exhibits highlighting Rotary's impact around the world. More than 200 flags at the entryway reflect Rotary's global presence. Rotary International Directors, Foundation Trustees, and various committees meet here in the boardroom. And being an international organization, we facilitate effective communication by providing simultaneous interpretation from booths that overlook the boardroom. Next to the boardroom is the office of the Rotary International President, who is elected to serve a one-year term. The President spends approximately 25% of their term in Evanston, where visitors will find them hard at work silhouetted against the Chicago skyline. The rest of the year is spent traveling around the world as an ambassador for Rotary. Our final spot is a newly renovated exhibit space that introduces Rotary leaders, shares stories of impact, and highlights our vision statement. Together, we see a world where people unite to take action to create lasting change across the globe, in our communities, and in ourselves. A wall of movable panels offers visitors a chance to explore milestones and stories of impact, such as the creation of Rotaract in 1968 and the Peace Centers in 1999. You can also find inspiration in Rotary's action plan, increasing our impact, expanding our reach, enhancing participant engagement, and increasing our ability to adapt. We hope you've enjoyed this virtual tour. On behalf of the entire Rotary staff, we've missed having you here, and we can't wait to see you here again soon. Visit rotary.org tours for updates. Until then, stay safe and stay well.